Hello friends, uh, this is Ashton here and uh, this is a preview about a project I'm going to release okay so basically this is uh, another web application but in this application I'm going to add a basically add some protection for your application so only the authorized user can access your data okay and also we're going to have some we're going to have some uh, routers basically some pages in your application so let me show you and uh, at the back end here I have a table called users so basically I store the username and password here and other information about the user so let me log in with my account here and uh, enter the password and we can log in okay so after you logged in and uh, here I have a dashboard and uh, we got some summary data from the uh, from the backend so basically we have five users right now and uh, we the sales uh, the sales value like this and we have some orders so if you check the data basically it's from this uh, summary and you get the orders uh, from a formula so basically we go to the sales and grab the orders and also we can grab the total sales value basically the value for the sales so things like that so you can add more content here for your uh, for your summary right and this is about the uh, dashboard and also you will see your name here and let me show you for the users so if I go to the users table so right now I didn't do anything because because this part I think I already did it so basically you're going to have a, a crowd application here for the users so you can add a new user you can edit user so basically things like that and here as you can see I only showed the raw data for this users table so we got all of this information for the user but of course this password should be removed from the front end so basically this can be handled very easily at the back end so we basically don't show this password and also this password should be hashed okay so this is not very secure and also I add a search function here so let's say I'd like to search my name here uh, I can do a search so basically I got a user and with this name here then you can say let's say let's check Ryan or you can use Ryan search for the username as you can see I search this username here like this and what if I like to get the uh, username for the accounting and also can search uh, all the users with accounting things like that and for the sales it's very similar to this to the users basically they're the same structure as you can see just the data is different and uh, you also can do the search like I want to find an order order 001 so basically this is the first order so so as you can see here you can basically if you can do a crowd application and you can integrate the crowd application and uh, integrate it with this application and you should have a full functional application like this and you can add more uh, routers or pages to your application and here I just add about a page like this so you can have basically some raw data here you don't need have to for uh, each router or each page you don't have to use a table at your backend and you can just have some HTML code and you can create a page like this about this is about page right and uh, Thing like that. So let me show you what if I add a new uh, card here. So maybe this is for the users, or you can say um, users, whatever. So maybe I change this to 100. So you will see the change. This is for the costs, maybe something like that. So, and if I 
go back to the dashboard again, I should have the data refreshed and I got this cost from the backend, just easy like that. So you can see for the users, you only need to create a crowd application for the users to manage your users. And for the sales, you can create a maybe order management system like that. And you can also manage your customer and uh, your orders, your invoice, so similar things like this, okay? So this is kind of basic structure uh, for your application, and uh, I'm going to uh, do this project. I'm going to release a live coding series about this project, so you can start with it, and uh, you can start to build the basic structure uh, for this application and uh, you can add the features you'd like to add for your application, okay? So that's for this preview, and of course we can log out. Okay, that's it.